Hey guys, it's Hayley, welcome to another video. Over the past couple of weeks, you guys have been asking me about my daily jewellery that I wear. So a lot of you guys say that I wear a lot. I guess the trend in New Zealand is to wear as many rings on your fingers as possible. I don't know if that's a worldwide trend, but in New Zealand it definitely is. And yeah, you guys just keep asking me where all my jewellery is from and so I thought I would answer your question. I keep all my jewellery in these Tiffany & Co boxes. I just want to share with you my pieces that I've collected from my travels because I think they're really cool and I think if you're really into travelling it's something that you should do because, I don't know, when I look down at my pieces of jewellery I can remember the exact place, the exact time I bought them, who I bought them from. It's nice to be able to remember these kind of things and then I'll have these forever so they're kind of like travel souvenirs but cool ones that I'll keep forever not like a magnet or a key ring or something. Yeah I thought that I would just basically tell you about each piece I got and the little story behind it and hopefully it will inspire you guys to collect jewellery on your travels because I don't know. Nice little memories. Okay the first ring I want to show you is this one here. Hopefully it will focus. So it is a sterling silver turquoise stone ring. It's super, super big. Like, look at the size of it. It's massive. And I bought this one in Slovenia, in Ljubljana. And I can remember the exact day that I bought it, the exact time. It was in a little stall right beside the river. If you guys have been to Ljubljana, Probably I'll insert a photo right here. When I saw it, I knew that I liked it immediately. And it was only 12 euro, which is $25, you know, for like a sterling silver unique piece. I think it's so cool and it goes with all my other jewelry really well. So that's the first one. Oh, fun fact I have a broken finger. Can you see that? So this one here, I got. For from the Camden Markets in London in January of this year. So I went back to Europe for Christmas and New Year, which was super fun. I was in London for five days, I think. And yeah, again, I, want, I wanted a souvenir to remind me of my trip. So I got this little one. This one was more expensive than the others. I think it might have been 30 pounds, which is $60. The thing I liked about this one was that I got talking to the guy, he told me his whole life story, told me that he was originally an artist, didn't make enough money, so now he's at Camden Markets making jewellery. It was too big for me originally, so I watched him cut it and mould it together. Yeah, so that one is from Camden Market. The next one, this one doesn't really count. This one is by a New Zealand designer, Stolen Girlfriends Club, and I just wear this every day because this ring I got with my very first paycheck and I'll always remember it. You know, you work hard, you can afford stuff like this. This one here is a cobalt blue stone. Um, I forgot the actual name of it. If anyone knows, please tell me because I'd love to know. But let me show you this one. I got this one here on the Amalfi Coast, specifically in Positano because Positano is my favourite place in the entire world. If you had to ask me where my favourite place is, Positano, hands down. But the really cool thing about this is I accidentally dropped it in the sand on the beach and it's got sand crystals in it, which is amazing. So I can see them really easily. I don't think you guys will be able to, but you can clearly see the sand in there from the Amalfi Coast, which is amazing. And it just goes so nicely with my other pieces, I think. Like, don't you think? The blues and silvers. I'm definitely a silver girl, by the way. Okay, so that was all my rings. Now I'm moving on to bracelets. I have three or four that I usually wear. First of all, this bracelet I never, ever, ever take off. I have worn it since 2012, so that's four years of staying on my wrist and it's never ever ever broken. So it's an evil eye bracelet. So basically I got this one in 2012 on my first trip to Europe. I got this from Mykonos which is in Greece and basically it's just an evil eye. And what an evil eye bracelet is or what an evil eye is is if you have the eye on you 
it shields evil away from you. So because the eye is looking it outward, it's pushing it away type thing. I think this one might have been like 40 euro, which is $80. This bracelet here doesn't really count. It's just a bracelet from my best friend. I just wear it all the time. This one here is a recent addition to my travel jewelry. Basically, this one here is the elephant bracelet that I got from Chiang Mai in Thailand. Earlier this year, we went to the elephant jungle century, which is so cool. I have a vlog about it, which I'll insert right here so you guys can look at it. But basically, the elephant jungle century is a century which looks after rescued elephants. Instead of riding them, which if you didn't know, riding elephants is extremely bad for them and should not be done. Uh, you get to go to the sanctuary and you get to feed the elephants, you get to hug the elephants, you get to um, bathe the elephants in water and in mud and just kind of like care for them for the day and it's so much fun. The elephant jungle sanctuary just really hit me hard in the heart, you know, got those feels. So I thought I had to buy something to remember it by. And it was really nice, the stall at the Elephant Jungle Century, um, all the proceeds went to the elephants and their welfare. So I thought that was really nice. So yeah, that's that bracelet right here. So that's it, that's my travel jewelry collection. I wanted to ask if any of you guys did the same thing as me. Do you guys collect jewelry on your travels or is it just me? I don't know. I think it's so cool and if you guys don't do it already, you guys really should. That's this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to comment and subscribe to me for more videos. Um, I have lots of exciting videos planned. I'm so excited to film them. But until then, talk to you later. Have a good week. Bye! I don't know. When I look down at my pieces of... Um... I don't know. I hope you can't hear that. That's a bit complainer. Like, do you guys collect jewelry on your on? Do you guys? Please. By the way, I have extremely chubby fingers, so apologies. So, I just focus. So, oh. It's, it is so hot outside today, I can't believe it, I need to go.